What's up everyone, Zach Sife here. Today we're gonna to check out the brand new line of guitar pedals from LSL Instruments. For those of you who have been around the channel, you guys know that I am an artist of LSL guitars. I absolutely love working with the team. Johnny, Lisa, Lance, everyone there is an absolute sweetheart and total professional when it comes to custom guitars. Earlier this year, they announced that they were partnering with a really great pedal builder based here in the USA to make custom overdrive pedals that are now currently available and I will link their website down below. Before we go any further, just wanted to point out that LSL did not pay me to make this video, but they sent them to me because I've made several videos for their guitars in the past and I thought it would be cool to try some pedals out on this channel because as you guys know, I don't really use pedals ever. So this will be a really great test for people who are just trying to dive into pedals now and wanna get something that's American made by hand, boutique, but at affordable prices. So today we're gonna check out the OG OD here on the left and the Lucid OD here on the right. Let's dive in. So let's start with the OG OD, which is based on an 80s style overdrive. It's probably gonna be more of like a tube screamery kind of thing, but it has a three way bass control knob, which is really cool. So I'm excited to dive into this. As always, we'll give you the clean tone by itself. I'm just running into a twin reverb model here on my Axe Effects. Why am I using the Axe Effects? Why am I not using a cool tube amp like this Mesa Boogie right here? It's because the Axe Effects is designed to take pedals exactly the same as a real amp. Plus, I can change the sound of the amp here so we can hear multiple demonstrations of these pedals through different setups. And because it's my channel, I'm gonna do demos the way that I always do them. So here is our clean Fender tone on the neck pickup. We switch to the bridge pickup in single coil mode. So let's check it out. We'll start by turning the pedal on. Beautiful red LED. And let's start moving some knobs, shall we? So. I wanna get unity gain first. There we go. Turn the tone up. It's about half. sounds fantastic that's awesome let's see what this bass knob does so it was on zero we'll put it on one you can tell right off the bat that that's adding some low end put it back to zero put it to two Turn the tone knob up all the way. Now it's, it adds a lot of bite and top end. But we turn the tone all the way down. Like the amount of range in this pedal is, is insane already. I like leaving it just on half. It's a goose the gain. And let see where we get. I'm gonna turn the humbucker back on here in the bridge. I know about you, but that is a fantastic tone. It's very responsive too. Very, 
very pleasant sounding pedal there. How does it do in front of a high gain amp though? So I'm gonna switch to my Mesa Boogie JP2C, which is already a pretty tight amp. We'll turn the pedal off and I'll just play a little passage without it. <laughs> and with it so what we're going to do here is turn the gain down all the way turn the volume up all the way and it should just kind of tighten that low end <laughs> It just makes the amp sound more pissed off. I mean, that's awesome. What if we mess around with the bass knob here? So you can add some low end in when you kick this on, which might be nice to kind of fatten it up a little bit. Let's try that on a single coil mode. So again, here it is with the bass knob on zero. <laughs> It turns a single coil pickup into a humbucker, essentially. I mean, that is really, really cool. I've never played a pedal of this style that's had that much control over the tone that you get. I can't see a pedal board where this wouldn't fit. And again, I don't use pedals, but this thing sounds fantastic. Let's check out the Lucid Overdrive next. So now we're gonna check out the Lucid Overdrive, which is supposed to be a transparent overdrive. You guys know we love that buzz with transparent, right? This is a Klon tribute. It's got three knobs. You got volume, tone, gain. You really don't need anything else. Let's dive right in. We'll go back to my clean tone. Start on the neck pickup. And we're gonna just kinda add a little bit of something. Right, set it to unity gain. So already it's adding a little bit of something, which is cool. Because it's subtractive, this tone knob. So when I put it there, it doesn't change the tone at all when I set it to noon, which is really nice. You notice how it was really thin when I had it on zero? So now that it's in the middle, it sounds no different than my bypass tone. That's transparent. But I can add more of that tone. So if we goose the volume a little bit, it'll just give me more of that. So what if we goose it up all the way? It's definitely starting to really hit the front of the amp, but it's staying really clean. It's just adding a lot of harmonic character, which gives it a very pleasant tone. That, that gets pretty funky. It makes everything sound nice and fat. What if we mess around with this tone a little bit? If we start adding some tone, I'll back down the volume a little bit again. Oh, it gets darker. So the tone is more like a high cut at this point where when you turn up all the way, it's gonna take away a lot of your top end. And then about half puts you at your normal tone. And all the way down, all the top end that you could possibly want. So that's really nice. Let's set it at noon again. 
and we'll start adding some gain. Switch to the bridge pickup. Again, this is going to be my humbucker. So it can kind of help bring your amp to like an edge of breakup kind of tone, which is really nice where you get a, just a little bit of gain, but nothing too crazy. So this is useful for helping to bring a clean amp to the edge of breakup where you get just a little bit of bite and character out of it, but it's not really overdriven. And again, we can make that a little brighter, add a little bit more gain. Totally usable throughout the entire range of the pedal. Let's use it as an overdrive in front of a distorted amp, set the tone back, keep the gain on zero. All right, so that's a unity gain. So without the pedal, we get... Again, it should really sound no different at this setting, but we add a little bit of gain. so clear and sounds so natural and organic transparent if you will if we want to make things just a little crazier right if i keep the gain all the way down actually i just jack up the level <laughs> That's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed the tones that I got out of these pedals. They're definitely a great fit for just about any pedal board when you're just looking to hit the front end a little bit more or get some cool edge of breakup with classic rock guitar tones. It's great for tightening your amp for high gain metal tones as well. If you guys want more information, again, check out LSL Instruments. These are made in America and these arrived to me in maybe three days. So I'm pretty happy overall with them. Again, love the team over there. They are not asking me to say any of this stuff. I just genuinely love working with everyone there. If you want more content on the regular Instagram, Facebook, and also subscribe here on YouTube, you guys know the drill by now. Until next time, keep on following your dreams.